glória a Deus
Lift up your hand to him and say, Father, we thank you. We are so grateful to you. Thank you for your love, your kindness, your faithfulness. Thank you for the joy of the Holy Ghost in the house. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for the delivery of your word to us. And in the first service, the second service, and this third service, thank you for the precision and accuracy of the word of God. Father, to you alone be all the glory. Thank you for safety, preservation, journey, mercies. We give you all the glory. Food on our table, cloth on our back. When everyone is shouting, there is a casting down. For us, you are lifting us up on daily basis. Father, we thank you. We are grateful. Blessed be in the name of the Lord. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worship. Give Jesus the shout of victory. Hallelujah. Give Jesus a big clap of it and you can please take your seat. The Lord bless you. That was a wonderful praise and worship session. Can we clap for the choir? Clap for the instrumentalist. Clap for all the workers on GCIC. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, and amen. You are welcome to church and happy Sunday to you. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Today is Sunday, 17th of March, 2024. Today is our mantle service. As today, we are going to receive the mantle of higher dimension. You are receiving mantle of higher dimension in the name of Jesus. 2 Kings chapter 2, verse 12 and 13. 2 Kings 2, 12 and 13. And Elisha saw it, and he cried, My father, my father, the chariot of Israel, and the horsemen thereof. And he saw him no more. And he took hold of his own cloth, and rent them in two pieces. He took up also the mantle of Elijah that fell from him and went back and stood by the bank of Jordan. The word of wisdom for today says, if you are born again and your father is the most high, definitely you cannot be the most low as a child of God. You will not go down in the name of Jesus. Life generally is in dimension, and the journey of every believer is also dimensional. Our life is not supposed to be static. It's supposed to be in dimensions. Life can be very exciting when you are experiencing new things and you are making progress. I want to pray for somebody today. Life shall be exciting for you in the name of Jesus. Say loud, amen. Proverbs 4, 18, Proverbs 4 and 18, the path of the just is at the shining light. And it shineth out more and more unto the perfect day. Your light will continually shine brighter and brighter in the name of Jesus. What will this mantle deliver to us today? The mantle of higher dimension gives you an invitation for a new dawn of higher destiny and fulfillment of destiny. You fulfill your destiny in the name of Jesus. Mantle of higher dimension is the power of God that closes the old chapter. And then the Lord will now open new chapters for you in the name of Jesus. Also through this mantle of higher dimension, every impossibility become possible. That impossible case today become possible in the name of Jesus. What must we do to receive that mantle? You must know what you want. What do you want the Lord to do for you? And then be ready to serve God with the mantle and that is given unto you. The mantle is for service. It's for work. Use it to pray. Use it to part the Jordan. Use it to do signs and wonders. It's for service. I want to pray for you today. As you apply the mantle, higher dimension shall be your portion in the name of Jesus. Are you ready for the mantle of higher dimension? Jump up on your feet. Say, Father, I thank you for sending your word of higher dimension unto me today. Prayer number five to ten. Say, Father, by the mantle of this commission, I close every old and negative chapter of my life for the images of new and positive one in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, by your everlasting harm, carry me. Say, carry me, oh, from where I am to where I should be in the city in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, by this mantle, I close every door. Say, I close every door of impossibility that the enemy opened unto me. And I open the door of possibilities 
In the name of Jesus, say, Father, connect all our business and career members to help us of destiny that will lead them to a good and new beginning. In the name of Jesus, say, Father, let every member of this heavenly Jerusalem begin to experience angelic ministration. You remember that angelic ministration during the last service? That daddy spoke so much about it. Say, Father, let every member of this church, of this heavenly Jerusalem, begin to experience angelic ministration that will terminate scarcity in their lives and family. In the name of Jesus, say, Father, your church, God City International Church, shall continue to grow in leaps and in bands, thereby becoming a city without wall and a nation without border for the multitude of disciples in the name of Jesus. Fire is in the Holy Ghost. Receive the mantle of higher dimension, mantle of possibilities, mantle that will close the whole door and open the new door for you. Mantle of new direction, new direction, higher dimension, new era, new dawn, higher dimension, Pray the Holy Ghost louder, louder, louder. Be focused now. Be focused now. Engage, engage, engage your heart in the prayer. Level every devil on your way this week. Recharge your spiritual battery. Pray the Holy Ghost. Everyone on my young run. Makosaka, aye keteke, ye go do go do go do go do. Makata kato, divine direction, divine guidance. Matabo shata, aye ye ye do, ye kose kete, she gado go da gado. Let the hand of God carry you from where you are to where you are supposed to be. Magada gada gada, she teke te ye kete, makati ya do, aye ya ya, aye ke te ke te ke te ke te ke te. Shikoteke teke to makota endemic ministration mayato yabo for me for my children magada gada shake it take it for my family for GCIC everyone connected associated related to this altar we enjoy angelic ministration this week this month and beyond magada gado yete yeke do divine guardians divine direction shako teke te shike teke teke te magada gado Iya takata, aye gede gede gede, she 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 gede gede gede, shaba bo shaba. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. You will not go the wrong direction. The Lord will guide you, step by step, decision to take, who to do it, who not to do it. We are to go. We are not to go. The check to sign. The transaction to approve. The business to do. The Lord will guide you. You will not make mistakes. The last mistakes you made shall be the last forever. Ah, this year, this year, no mistake for you. No error, no blunder, no mistake, no error, no blunder, no mistake, no error, no blunder. In the name of Jesus, Maritani, you will not make mistake. In your business, you will not make mistake. In your career, you will not make mistake. The Lord carry you from where you are. He will take you to where you're supposed to be. In the name of Jesus, every good door that is closed against you, they are open, they are open, they are open, they are open, they are open. Throughout last week, myself and daddy will enjoy angelic ministration. They were positioned in our path from one place to the other, from another place to the other. So when daddy is talking about angelic ministration, he knows what he's saying. And I know too, and I understand. Because we have experienced it. We saw it live and direct. 
angel, people that got positioned as angels to our part, one place to the other. You are, you are, before you get there, they are already there, waiting for you, doing this, doing that, making life convenient and comfortable. I pray for you, the same vein, and we pray in the same favor that we have received, receive angelic ministration. For you, for your spouse, for your children, your family, receive angel administration. The Lord will position people like angels, angels and people, that they will serve you, that they will help you, that they will assist you, that will make life comfortable for you. Life will not be difficult for you. Receive angel administration. Receive angel administration. Receive angel administration. Anywhere your children go, all over the world, they will enjoy angel administration. Thank you, our Father. Once again, we decree preservation of lives and property. This season, the word of God, the voice of God will be clear to you. You will hear him loud and direct. You will not miss his voice in the name of Jesus. Thank you, our Father. In Jesus, mighty name we are praying. Three powerful, amen. 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 And hey, celebrate Jesus with clap often as you take your seat. Wherever you are like it, so just lift up your voice and bless the name of the Lord. Can you just exalt him with the fruits of your lips? Yeah. Oh. I am done to the holies of holy. I am done to the blood of the Lord. I am done to worship you holy. I am done to holy. To the blood of the Lamb, I enter to worship You only. Jesus, I enter to honor Him and pray.
and just hail our father let's bless the name of the Lord somebody worship him adore him support the Lord ever faithful the man of war our provider our promoter our lifter we worship you we all you must ah bashata la da bariana gada gadusha somebody worship him somebody hail him bashata la da bariana gadusha eleven evedusha in jesus name we worship when you hail somebody you begin to call their name maybe ak or whatever name you know now in, in the in the moment just 30 seconds mention the names of god that you know maybe about 20 of them hail him he's your provider he's your lifter he's your deliverer he's your rescuer He's your promoter. He's your healer. You are my all in all. You are the reason for living. You are the reason for living. I worship you, Lord. I, I worship the Lord. Basha tala da baria da gadusha. Ale kapada shada. Ele baria da da gadusha. Ane kapado shada. Asha da 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 gadusha. Ele baria da. Esha da gadasha. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Psalm 66 verse 12 Because you have lifted him up You will never go down again Because you have hailed and honored him You will never be dishonored all your life Forever walk in honor Walk in blessing Walk in favor In the name of Jesus Look at this. Let re let's read together. One, two, go. Thou hast caused men to ride over our heads. We went through fire and through water. Good news. But thou hast brought us out into a wedding place. Where are you going this week? Thou hast caused men to ride over our heads prayer point lord all my pain turn them to gain hear this as children of god we don't suffer in vain no if there is anything that look like a challenge look for the end at the end god is trying to work something out for us and that is the way it has always been so you are going to lift up your voice and say my father my god say my father my god Say my father, my God. Say my father, my God. Say my father, my God. Turn it in my favor. Every challenge, every pay, turn it in my favor. In the name of Jesus. Somebody go ahead and pray. Turn it in my favor. Every challenge, every pain. Every challenge, every pain. Turn it in my favor. 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 Every pain I suffer in life, Father, turn it to gains. Hmm. Turn it to gain. Turn it to gain. Turn it to gain. Mashata la da baria katagadosha. Eshelega de gadoncia. Maria katagadosha. Alika Payana Sada, 
Turn it again. In Jesus' name we pray. I'd like you to pray that prayer with understanding. One of the names of God is the master overturner. Ezekiel 21, 27. Ezekiel 21, 27. I will overturn, 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 and it shall be no more. He can turn it. He can change it. When the Lord turned the captivity of Zion, say, my father, turn my pain to my gain. Turn my mistake to my miracle. Turn my obstacle to my advancement. In the name of Jesus, turn the stumbling blocks to my stepping stone. Somebody pray. This is called prophetic pray. This is called prophetic pray. pray. Turn it around. Turn it around. Father, turn it around. Turn it around. The stumbling blocks. Let it turn to my stepping stone. Father, turn it around. Somebody pray. We are praying now. Somebody pray. Turn it around. We don't suffer in pain, oh, in vain. We don't suffer in pain, in vain. No, not in the kingdom. Father, turn it around for me. Father, change it for me. Father, turn it around for me. Father, change it for me. Father, turn it around. Father, change it. Father, turn it around. Father, change it. Father, turn it around. Father, change it. In my favor. Father, turn it around. Father, change it. Father, turn it around. Father, change it. Father, turn it around. Father, change it. Mashatala da bariata. Eleva rosa. Eshalega da gadosha. Oh, my father. Turn it around. Mashat Aladabariata. In Jesus' name we pray. He said, You have allowed people to ride us. But now you have lived. You are going to pray, Lord. Everyone that have cheated me in life, everyone that has caused me pain in life, Father, lift me above them. Everyone that has caused me pain in life, lift me above them. <laughs> Are you ready to pray? Go ahead and pray. Yeah. Go ahead and pray. Everyone that has looked down on me in the journey of life, Father, lift me above them. Everyone that has ridden over my head, cause me to lift me beyond them. Alisha Tanavarata. Elebo Sodia Ashata Lagadosha Ariatada Ashalagadagadosha Barosa Hey Fala Pariatana Dadosha Ella Pariatana Gadosha Ella Barriata Eshala da Barriata Eshala da Barriata Eshada Gadagadosha Eriata da Gadosha Abariata Eshada Gadagadosha Eroto Eshada da Dosha Eriata Dosha Ele Pariata da Ashada Gadagadosha Ele Parata Ele Poroto Eshalega de Gadagadosha Eriacatanasha E Pariata Eshalega de Gadosha Ah, lift me, lift me, lift me. Bariata da Gadosha. Ele Barosa. Hey, Mashata Yada Gada Gadosha. Erota. Ashaya Yaya. Erota. Eto Vanata. Eshele Gada Gadosha. E Katada. Everyone that has looked down on me, let them look up to me. Kalishataya. Eshalega de Gadosha, Eriata, Hey, Ashata la da Bariata, Ele Barata, Eshala da Baruda, Epariata Nadosha, 
Ele Barriata, Eshadado, in Jesus. Mighty name we pray. I decree and declare. Everyone that has looked down on you, let them begin to look up to you. 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 The final prayer. We went through fire. We thought it has finished. Then water came. But now you have brought us out. Lord, whatever I'm going through, let it lead to my breakthrough. Whatever I am going through now, whether delay, whatever it is, Lord, let it lead to my breakthrough. I can't go through without breaking through. Everyone expecting letter of joy, come and pick your letter now. I see the angel dropping letters around their document. Document, a word letter. I mention it, just return. You are not praying there, you are coming to collect. You must know how to operate by faith. You are not praying. Don't stay there and pray. Don't stay there. You are the testimony. Don't stay there and pray. You are collecting. Learn how to walk by faith. You collect. You may not see what you are collecting. That's why it's faith. You may not see, but you have just collected it now. The document of the properties. The document of the vehicle. The document of the estate. You have just collected it now. You have just collected it. That you are not picking a physical thing does not mean miracle has not taken place. It's just an act of faith. God has said it. He said, let there be light and there was light. Now begin to mention what you have just collected. Say it. This is faith. By heart, man believe. But by mouth, confession is made. I have just collected this. I have just collected this. I have just collected this. Ashata la da barriata. Eleva na sidiata. Ebo shada barriata. Eshelegadagado shada. Barriata da. What have you collected? Etayando sidia. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. For every one of you, both online and on ground, let that letter drop now. Let that letter drop now. Let it drop this way. Let the document drop. Let the money drop. Let the resources drop. You will not be stranded. The meeting that they call, in order to naked you and expose you, that meeting will not hold. That meeting is scattered. They will fight themselves over your matter. They will fight themselves over your matter. As you are rising, there are too many grumbling. And many grumblers. They are grumbling. And they are grumblers. As much as they are grumbling, you will keep rising. You will keep shining. In the name of Jesus, say, My Father, whatever I'm going through now, I will break through into a worthy place. I'm breaking through into my worthy place. I'm breaking through into my worthy place. Whatever I'm going through, somebody pray. Do we have prayer champion here? As I'm going through, I am breaking through. I'm breaking through. I'm breaking through. I'm breaking through. I am breaking forth on every side. My business, my career, my ministry is breaking forth on every side. It's breaking forth on every side. Breaking forth on every side. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I decree and declare in the name that is above every other name. Break forth on every side. Break forth on every side. 
Break forth on every side. Break forth on every side. Break forth on every side. What they saw and they are angry is just an introduction. Now let the next chapter, the first chapter of the blessing of God, let it open now. Let it open. Let it open. Let it open. 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 Enter into the first chapter of blessing. This week, you will arrive at your wealthy place. In the name of Jesus. Without begging, without lobbying, without bribery, the Lord will take you there. In the name of Jesus. Christ. Thank you, Father. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Somebody say, I receive it. Say, I embrace it. Say, it is mine. Say, I will testify. Give Jesus Christ a clap of praise. And please be seated. Hallelujah. <laughs> Your life can be the same again. Something have just changed. This is the realm of the spirit. The realm of the spirit is the best place to effect changes. Why we look not at the things that are seen? For the things that are seen, they are temporal. No. Don't weep over any matter that you can see. Because it can be changed. <laughs> the supernatural is above the natural. But the things that are unseen are eternal. So that challenge that you have seen is changing now. Psalm 66 verse 12. The wealthy place. We live in a time now in the world where believers must know the things that are our right in the kingdom. So that we can explore and take advantage of them. When you see somebody from a royal house, there should be uh, the traces of it in their lives. Things are tough in the world, but it will be easy for you. If your amen can be better, the miracle will be faster. And God has always practiced exemption. Now Psalm 66 verse 12. Thou hast caused men to ride over our heads. We went through fire and through water, but thou broughtest us out into a wealthy place. According to the Bible, there is a place called wealthy place. That's the first point. There is a place called wealthy place. That is, when we be wasting his time, Wasting his energy, wasting his resources. In the journey of life, if you have not located your wealthy place. The second point is this. This God that we serve is a God of location. He's a God of location. You see, every place is not your place. You must understand this in the journey of life. Starting from the Garden of Eden, he wanted to create man. He downloaded Eden and he put the man in Eden. Why not in any other garden? Eden, Genesis chapter 2 from verse 1 to verse 18. He put him in Eden and everything he needed was in that garden. When God wants to bless you, he takes you to a location. Second example, Abraham, Genesis chapter 12 verse 1. To seven. Even one to ten. Now this man was 75 years old. And he was living in Iran. He has wasted almost all his life. But one day God said look. You will only die in this location. There is a change of location. Your father wanted to go there. But he could not get there. Do you know that there are certain things that your father could not do. You have to combine it with your assignment. 
Some of you, it was your father that's supposed to be great. He had that. You see, I've seen it over time in the testimony of people and in our, in our personal testimony. There are things you are trying to do. It has been in the destiny of your family that it will be done. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. It, has, it was the father of Abraham. Genesis chapter 11, verse 26 to the end. Genesis 11, 26 to the end. It was the father of Abraham that was meant to go to Canaan. But when he got to Aran, in verse 28, they are about. When he got to Aran, because Aran reminded him of the name of his son that died. Hear this. Whenever you look back, you go back. No driver drive forward and be looking at inner mirror. Whenever you look back, the, his son, one of his sons died before him. So when he got to Aran, verse 29, 30, 31, he got to Aran and he settled there and he died. He wanted to go to Canaan. Something told him that his destiny has to do with Canaan. I was discussing with one of my loved ones, uh, who has mining site and um, um, oil feed. And the wife just brought up a topic that when the father retired, he wanted to, he, he liked petrol station. But he could not do it. He now went to go and buy drum to be selling ke uh, uh, kerosene. But you know, he never put one kerosene there till he passed. What was the journey that your father started and he couldn't finish? Destiny is calling you. Many of you don't know that I have um, the other religion background. Uh, you know, my father was a born other religion. And that was what he practiced. But something happened when he wanted to register in school. A reverend somehow just adopted him and took him over. So he grew up in a house of a reverend. And he was almost becoming a pastor before he fears off to another side. Anything you are trying to do now, could it be that there is a trace of it in your destiny? When Terah got to Iran, he settled and he died. Please don't settle for average. Go all the way. 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 What you are trying to do is not an ambition. It's a vision. It is in your destiny. Don't let the casualty you have suffered stop you from your journey. When he got to Iran, he stayed. Now, God now came to Abraham, Genesis chapter 12. Verse 1 to 7, God came to Abraham and said, Now get out of your father's house, from your kindred. You see, these are the things that limit us. What stop our parent mentality? And you begin to acquire that mentality and begin to think the way they think. And then you couldn't achieve beyond that. So God is saying, get out of thy country. Eh, you know what can we do? This is Nigeria now. Who says so? There are billionaires here. There are people that will tell you that their best place is here. And they are not born here. Get out of that mentality. If you don't know anybody, you can't make it this in this country. That's mentality. Get out of your kindred. They will limit you. In fact, your Christianity is not yet authentic. Until people are not able to trace you to where you came from. Then you, you, you are now a Christian. Get out of your country. Get out from your father's house. The abomination of your father's house. Get out of it. Get out of it. Some of us still go for a Gungu festival. Get out of it. That's why you see a Gungu always pursue you. You say, in the last two years, I've not been going, but I send money. Don't you know your money is your life? 
When they pay you 30 months salary, 30 your monthly salary, they say for your time you spend with us, this is your life. Where your money goes, there your life goes. I repeat, your money is the representation of your life. Your money is the... So, if you landed in, in shrine, then that shrine begin to monitor you and say, we have come. If they can't come in the day, they will come in the night. Come in the night. Get out! And that's how. And then Abraham at 75 began to prosper. When you look at Genesis chapter 13, verse 2, he was rich in cattle. Genesis 24, verse 1 and verse 35, he was very rich. He became rich. Every divine allocation is for a location. What about Isaac? The same thing. When God wants to bring you to your wealthy place, he leads you out. What about Jacob? The same thing. Return back, Jacob, from where you are forced. To you know, I spoke to some people um, some, for some days. The challenge of many people is why many people remain where they were and they are no more people is what we people say. All the people that I left back at home, they have gone ahead of me. What we people say. Let me tell you, the day you become so attached to emotion than the voice of God. That's the day you begin to lose it. I told you the story of one of us who returned from abroad when everybody was running away. So mightily blessed. Every lesser. Not then say. But you know what normally happens to some people? Ah, I've been here. Can you imagine somebody you are going to Lagos and you now face Akwanga Road? And then you, from there, Lafayette, then you know, and all that to Joss, and you are going. And then you met one Ausa man on the road with his cutlass from the bush. And you say, Akwanga to Lagos Baga. And the man said, No, 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 no. Achan, you are lost. Oh. And you now say, no, 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 no problem. Let us be driving. I know one day I will get to Lagos. Hear this. It's never too late to be right. It's never too late to get it right. If you have gotten it wrong, adjust your journey. Get it right. That's why <laughs> when, when you look at Google and then you are looking at Google map to take you to somewhere, when you miss the road, it will not tell you you can't get there. It will only say, okay, for this one you have missed the road, 30 minutes has been added to your journey. Retrace your step. Where have I missed it? I'm telling you, God told me oh, that people will get to where they place oh. That's what this Sunday is for. That's the assignment of this day. Oh. That's the assignment. That's the assignment. That's the assignment. What about Peter? And he's the one who just look at in this service and I will pray for you. Luke chapter 5. Let's look at Peter. There is a place called wealthy place. Hmm. You will get there. Oh. And you'll get there this week. You'll get there very fast. Luke chapter 5, 1 to 11. And John chapter 21, 1 to 19. Luke chapter 5, 1 to 11. And John chapter... 21, 1 to 19. Uh, because many of us are used to Luke, let's read John because we're going to be reading together. John 21 and 1 to 19. Can you give it to Ross Media? Because we, we all stand and read. And then I just bring out some point there. Are we there now? We're going to read together. Are we ready? One to go. After these things, Jesus showed himself again to the disciples. 
at the sea of Tiberias. And on this wise shew he himself. There were together Simon Peter and Thomas called Didymus and Nathanael of Cana in Galilee and the sons of Zebedee and two other of his disciples. Simon Peter said unto them, I go fishing. They said unto him, We also go with thee. They went forth and entered into his ship immediately. And that night, what happened? They caught nothing. But when the morning was now come, Jesus stood on the shore. But the disciples knew not that it was Jesus. Then Jesus said unto them, Children, have ye any meat? They answered him, No. And he said unto them, Cast the net, where? On the right side of the sheep. And ye shall find. They cast therefore, and now they were not able to draw it. For what? For the multitude of fishes. Therefore, that disciple whom Jesus loved said unto Peter, Ah, it is the Lord. Oh. Now, when Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he got his fisher's coat unto him, for he was naked and did cast himself into that's what means direction does to people he naked people verse 8 and the other disciple came in in a little ship for they were not far from land but as it were 200 could be dragging the net with fishes as soon as they were come to the land they saw a fire of coals there and fish laid their own and bread. Question. Question waiting now. I'm, still, I'm preaching. Did you see that verse 9? They just brought down their fish. Now they met another barbecue that is already on fire. It is not your struggle that will make you to make it. It is the blessing of the Lord. Let's continue. Nine more verses. Jesus said unto them, Bring of the fish which you have now caught. Simon Peter went up and drew the net to the land, full of great fishes, and hundred and fifty and three. And for all there were so many. Yet was not the net broken. Wait. In chapter 5 of Luke. You know their net broke. Because Peter didn't obey completely. God said drop nets. He dropped one net. But this one. You see everything in the Bible asks me why God put it there. Yet not net. Net didn't break. And they told us great fishes. When your obedience is complete, your prepared blessing become massive. Verse 12, Jesus said unto them, Come and die. And none of the disciples does ask him, Who art thou? Knowing that it was the Lord. I love Jesus. Jesus then come in and take a bread and give it them and fish likewise to serve them. This is now the third time that Jesus showed himself to his disciples. After that, he was risen from the dead. So when they had died, Jesus said unto Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than this fish and net? He said unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, Feed my lambs. He said unto him again the second time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? He said unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, Feed my sheep. He said unto him the third time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time, Lovest thou me? 
And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I love thee. Jesus said unto him, Feed my sheep. 18 and 19. Verily, verily, I say unto thee, When thou wast young, thou guarded thyself, and walkest whither thou wouldest. But when thou shalt be old, thou shalt stretch forth thy hand, and another shall guide thee, and carry thee, whither thou wouldest not. This spake he, signified by what manner of death he should glorify God. And when he has spoken this, he said unto him, What do you do? Please sit down. The Lord bless the reading of his word. In the name of Jesus. I would have loved to read verse 20, 21 and all that, but uh, maybe for time's sake, you can give it to me. You know, when he said, follow me, Peter said, what about this man? And Peter turned about, see the disciple whom Jesus loved following, which also leaned on his breast at supper, and said, Lord, which is he that betrayed thee? Verse 21. Peter seen him say to Jesus, Lord, what shall this man do? I just want to point something out. Verse 22, Jesus answered. Jesus said unto him, If I will that he tarry till I come, what is that to thee? You follow thou me. If you will get to your worthy place, you must learn how to face your front. Be concerned about your matter, not other people's matter. The devil cannot attract you until he distracts you. He cannot attack until he distracts you. Jesus said, Jesus said, follow me. The guy said, oh, what about this other man? Can he, can he? He said, Jesus said, what is your problem? Face your front. Can you tell your neighbor for me? He said, face your front. Look to another neighbor. Say, face your front. Face your front. Face your front. Face your front. Focus. Focus is what makes you to arrive at your worthy place. Focus. Focus. Loss of focus make people not to be defined in life. Like we have said, there is a place called worthy place. What happened in this wealthy place? What are the things that happened? Number one, your nakedness is covered. Bible never revealed that Peter was naked until he was not in his wealthy place. Number two, your toiling and struggle is arrested. Toiling and struggle is arrested. Things happen on their own in your wealthy place. What used to be difficult become very, very easy. Our people say so easy as if God is involved. And so difficult as if God is not involved. When you are in your wealthy place, your nakedness is covered. When you are in your wealthy place, what used to be difficult become very easy. Number three, when you are in your wealthy place, you get it right. You get it right. Jesus said, put your net in the right place. When I heard of a man of 35 years of age who has divorced 10 times in the United Kingdom, I, 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 I begin to emphasize more on divine direction. There are mistakes that it will be costly when you make it in the journey of life. So you need to get it right. Jesus told them in John 21 verse 3 to 5, he said, put your net in the right place. They said, we have caught nothing. Number four, in your wealthy place, you have ready-made breakthrough. Ready-made breakthrough. Jesus has already organized barbecue for them in your wealthy place. One of the things you will know God is leading you to somewhere is that there are resources, there are provisions made available to you. 
Where God led, God fed. The Lord is my leader. Psalm 23 verse 1. I shall not want. And verse 5. He prepared a table before me in the presence of my enemy. What? Not that you will not walk, but by the time your struggle is more than your result, God's grace is absent. God's grace is absent. Grace make life easy. Grace make things easy. May the Lord make things easy for you. If your amen can be better, the miracle will be faster. In the name of Jesus. And finally, in your wealthy place, you fulfill destiny without struggle. You fulfill destiny without struggle. You fulfill destiny without struggle. Fulfill destiny without struggle. And now can you get to your wealthy place by being led by the law. Being led by the law. So, I will be spending a few minutes on how to be led by the law. Now, what are the wealth that divine direction will bring to you? I'll mention them in quick succession. I have 12 here. I've mentioned maybe about C's in all the two other services. So, get the rest. So, if I look fast from number one to six, please understand, bear with me. Get it on the YouTube. Number one, divine direction assists you to your worthy place by making you to be profitable, to be gameful. Isaiah 48, verse 17. Number two, everything you get involved in, get the blessing of God. Genesis 21, verse 1. Number three, divine direction, make what others find difficult become easy for you. Genesis 26, verse 1 to 3, verse 12, and verse 4, and verse 14. Genesis 26, 1 to 3, 12 to 14. Number four, you rule and you reign. Psalm 107, verse 17 to 21. You are really blessed in this service. I could not do more than three points for them in all the two other services. In your, in your, by direction, you rule and dominate. Number five, you don't lack anything in, by divine direction. Psalm 23, verse 1. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. I shall not want good wife. I shall not want good husband. I shall not want children. I shall not want job. I shall not want career. Out of school for five years, no job. Mm -mm. What is God saying? I shall not want. Number six, you enjoy rest and quietness in your divine worthy place. God lead you to rest and quietness. Psalm 23 Verse 1 to 2, he lead me beside the still water. Still water. Number 7, you embrace right direction. Your steps are ordered. Call it that way. Your steps are ordered. Your steps are ordered. He maketh me to lie down in green pasture. He leadeth me beside the still water. Step all that. Things are just working. How do you know somebody is under a course when things are working against you? Your steps are all that. Your steps are all that. Number what? Number eight. You are able to combine riches with righteousness. You make money without stealing. Psalm 23, verse 4. Psalm 66, verse 12. Oh, sorry. Psalm 23, verse 1 and 3. That's for that verse. Number 9. You overcome all challenges in your wealthy place. Psalm 23, verse 4. Psalm 20, 66, verse 12. How 
you will know you are in your wedding place is that not that there won't be challenges, but at the end of the day, you overcome. Say, I overcome. Say, head or tail, I win. You overcome. You had a testimony last week how two of our men, you know, were savage and escaped what could have been a national disaster. The plane had already take, taken off, and then this demonic bird came inside the engine. When bird to look for where to fly, now inside engine, then they fly to. That kind of bird, it, was that ordinary bird? Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil. Number 10, you have commanded and prepared blessing by divine direction. Psalm 23, verse 5. Psalm 23, verse 5. Commanded blessing. He is already prepared. We are led to be somewhere, um, you know, last week. And we are led, you know, people thought, oh, he, he, had, he has gone for rest. I think that last week, I had, I had not walked like that in a very long time. I mean, it was so, it was a chock up there from one place to the other, one place to the other, that you really catch some hours of sleep. And there are some things that were thinking, okay, this one will, before you know it, God brought everything at the same time and um, doing something to prepare the ground for what is going to come in that you will hear later. Everything, nobody, nobody said anything to anyone, but everything just arranged themselves. Because it has to do with the work of the Lord. And God just opened that, those doors of opportunity. When you are led by the Lord, there is what they call prepare blessing. There was one that was so intimidating. Somebody just said it, eh? the way you dress, it looks like you are around us. Like some of you are guessing, I don't know what you are guessing about. They said, the way you dress, I said, I. and it was, you know, we tried to manage that situation. It was just that. The situation, no green manage. You know, green. We tried to manage it. He said, no, 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 did this. Before you know it, he said, no, I'm, do, do, do that. That becomes... The, the first tranche of what we are going to open the door in that place. Nobody asks or nobody make a demand. Prepare blessing. There is a prepare blessing for you this week. May you not miss it. They will take you there. You will get there. And then second to the last one. You overflow by divine direction in your worthy place. Psalm 23, verse 5, Joel 2, 25. And finally, every day become Christmas in your worldly place. Every day. Every what? Every day. Now, the question is, how can I be led to my worldly place? How can I be led to my worldly place? Number one, by becoming a child of God. John chapter 10, verse 5, from verse 1. To seven. I know my sheep. My sheep knows me. If you are born of God, you are entitled to the voice of God. Salvation is gateway to his voice. Number two, the ministry of the Holy Spirit. The ministry of the Holy Spirit. The Spirit speaks expressly. First Timothy chapter 4, verse 1. The Spirit speaks expressly. Number two. Or number three is by the word of God, the Bible. God speak to us by the Bible, by the word of God. First Samuel chapter three, verse twenty-one. The Lord appear again by His word. The Lord appear again by His word. Every page of the Bible carry the voice of Jehovah. Number four, four right or five, four. 
by outward voice. God can speak to you, audible voice, call it, audible voice. John chapter 12, 27 to 29. John 12, 27 to 29. There was thunder. The Jews say he thunder. <laughs> Jesus said it's not thunder. This is five. Is that number five? By peace. When you are praying over a matter, Lord, do you want me to go to, uh, do you want me to go to Kutono and go and settle there? And you are praying. God can answer you with peace. Peace. Psalm 85 verse 8. God will speak peace. As long as you are perturbed and disturbed. God has not spoken. As long as you are agitated and fearful. His voice has not come. For he will speak peace unto his people. He will speak what? He will speak what? He will speak what? He will speak what? He will speak peace unto his people. Are you the people of God? God will speak peace. First Samuel chapter 13 verse 12. First Samuel 13 12. He will speak peace unto his people. Acts chapter 16, 17 to 18. Therefore said I, the Philistine will come down now unto me to Gilgal, and I have not made supplication unto the Lord. And same follow Paul and all that. And Paul was disturbed in his spirit. Hello? Please look up now. I need you to catch something. There are people that speak with the voice of divination. Especially in our days now. Everybody is now a prophet. Look at that scripture very well. Everybody is now a prophet. This guy was, that's why, when, you see, when, it's not about what is spoken. It's about what is behind who is speaking. It's not a, about the sign that you see. It's about the spirit behind it. Now, this guy suddenly saw Paul and, uh, and Silas in the market. And he said, people, look at these people. They are servants of God. Are they servants of God? Yes. They are showing all the way of salvation. Are they preaching the way of salvation? Yes. They are this. Look at it. Give us verse 17. I don't know who's in the console. Alternating like this. She was everything she was saying. These are the men. These men are the servant of the most high God. It was true. They are showing us salvation. It was true. Hear this. That it is true does not mean it is God. Oh, I don't want to confuse you for that. That somebody call your phone number does not mean God send him. And those things are easy to know. You just need to, there's something they call true caller. That's something that, I mean, with this artificial intelligence coming, there are a lot of things. But what is important is, look at verse 18. If you are a spiritual person, when you are a spiritual person. When a bad person arrives at your door or somebody is speaking, your spirit will be troubled. How many of you have been there before? Everything the person is doing may look correct, but somehow something is not clicking inside you. Look at it. This he did many days. Paul was looking at him and saying, it's okay, it's okay. But Paul, being grief in the spirit, when your spirit is grief, don't force it. Don't force it. That's why many people have died cheaply. Their spirit is grief. This relationship, I'm just forcing it to happen. This person is not my person. You know those kind of people that they arrive at your house, even dogs are barking. 
Dog said, this man is a wicked man. Wow, 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 wow. They said, dog, huh? he's my uncle from the place. Wow, 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 wow. He's a wicked man. He's a wicked man. The children, when you see people that little, little children are running away from, watch them. Oh. The children, they, they see your uncle, they say, is it a uh, junior? Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Watch them. Watch them. Is it what that do 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 do? Ah, ah. He's a wicked man. Only I can talk. He said, You is a wizard. He was grief in the spirit. How many times have you been grief in the spirit and you force yourself like Saul would do to do those things? Please, let's be careful. You need this inner peace. Let me show you the way it works. Do you know that God use, uses the inner peace to confirm whether something is right or wrong? When you lack inner peace, God is saying, wait. When there is no peace, said, don't go. Don't go. Don't go. Don't go. Somebody was testifying somewhere, somewhere of reason. And he said, I told my boss I was not comfortable with this journey. Inner peace. That is the closest thing. Hear this. There is nothing important in this life. And you've been alive to fulfill destiny. My wife is there. It doesn't take me anything to cancel any journey. Doesn't matter any. I, 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 I was, somebody was getting married in Asaba one time. You know, I've always lived my life to try as much to be at peace with people and to please people. Even though it has hurt me and it has cost me so much. Now, this person that I went for the wedding, I brought the person to, to this land. And at the time, you know, turned against one another and even collided with them. This was many, many years. So when he was going to wed and all that, his father was not around. So I flew to, this was 2014, there about. I flew to Ashaba, and all that. There was so much warning, not the, but I flew all the way. And went to the after the wedding, check into the hotel, and then to come back on Saturday. But all through the night stroke that Saturday, there was no peace. I was praying not to Lord, what is it? Does he have to do with this flight? Um, I was praying not to. There was no light. There was no so I was there. Then it was like a yellow light. You know, it's like a traffic light. It was like, like a yellow light in my spirit. Go, don't go, don't go, don't. I will have peace a little. Suddenly the peace will disappear. <laughs> so the driver that came to pick me to the airport, um, as we are going to the airport, we were about to turn to the airport. A former minister of uh, aviation, named Witted, just called me. I said, Pastor, where are you? I said, oh, I'm fine. I'm in Asaba and all that. He said, it's okay. I, I had some dream and all that. I just want us to agree. I want you to agree with me. He said, I travel. I'm sorry, I didn't tell you. I'm in Chicago. I said, yeah. I just want you to agree with me. Let's pray that uh, uh, there will not be national disaster. Uh, a plane crash. I said, plane what? <laughs> he said, let's pray. I said, there's no need for prayer. <laughs> you know, there are people that God loves. <laughs> I mean, he didn't know the idea. I mean, I'm 
no, I don't. He just called me and said, I said, please, 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 please pray. I'm serious. He said, Pastor, I'm serious. I said, ah, I got the message. It's not, it's not about you. He said, no, let's pray. So I pray for him. I just told the driver. I said, can you turn back? And face Abuja. He said, what are you talking about? You only said I should bring it. He said, it should be costly. I think maybe whether he charged 60000 or seventy. I said, which kind of 60000 my friend? <laughs> Face Abuja Road. <laughs> Face Abuja Road for me now. Face Abuja Road. Don't force yourself to have peace with what your spirit is grief about. Are you getting my point? We're talking about the peace of the law. And then second to the last one, or the last one, it is true visions and revelation. Joel chapter 2, verse 28 to 29. I've been treating this in prayer, in uh, midnight prayer. And I want all of you to take note of this one that is coming. Because this is the commonest one that God used to speak to people. Somebody was in a turbulent uh, flight one day. He said to me, I, I heard it from his man, a great man of God. He said, the first thing he asked himself is, did I have a dream that I die of recent? He said, no. Did I have this, did I have any revelation? He said, no. He carried his food, he was eating. The man that was beside him could not eat. He abandoned him. Of course, the plane eventually landed. He said, when he carried his bag, he said, the man was telling him, he said, look at that man. It's a, it's a spirit. <laughs> Everybody was shouting, shouting. He was not doing anything. Because he has heard from the law. He has heard from the law. So, true dreams, God speaks to us. It can be like a fission when you sleep. You know, God has to wait for many of us to when we sleep. That's why, because I've always wondered, why is it that Whatever you want to say, you can say. Sometimes we are too busy to pay attention to him. Let me give you two scriptures and begin to pray for you. Job, Job chapter 7, verse 13 to 15. Job 7, 13 to 15. And Job 33, from verse 14. Down what to 20. You know, it talks about dreams. Sometimes go away. You see, I will just mention it. There is a conscious you. There is unconscious you. Conscious you is active in the day. But unconscious you rule the night. So whatever God wants to do, verse 14 and 15, please. Whatever God wants to do sometime, he pass it through the night and show you the vision that there is a challenge. Especially dream that you have and they are prophetic. That you woke up and it looks to be real. Take note of them. Are you getting it? Then Job 33. Job 33 from verse 14. I hope I got it right. So from tonight, I want you to watch your dream. I want you to watch it. One of the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the things we got engaged in last week. God had already shown me since December. Look at it. Look at this. Okay, I love this. Look at it. For God speaketh what? Once. Yea, twice. Yet, what happened? Man perceived it not. Where does God speak? Eh? Please follow this scripture carefully. God speak one. Where does God speak? In a dream. Because I was raised as a CAC boy, but by the time we were growing up in faith, we got into this um, faith movement and all that from U.S. and they begin to tell us that dream is nothing. Uh, God does not only the word, which was right partially, but God still speak through dream. He said, "In the last day, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Dreams and fission will be part of it. In a dream, in a fission of what of the night, when deep sleep falleth upon man in slumbering." Where? That's why you must have a bed. 
verse 16. Now read this. It's interesting here. Can we read it together? Then he opened the ears of men. What did he do? And seal it there. I love it. Instruction. How many instructions were given to you in the night that you are forfeited? Give us verse 17 and 18. Please write this scripture down. No. Write this scripture down. He sealed the instruction. Let me tell you, you will know your life is under attack whenever you are no longer dreaming. You will know your life is under attack whenever your dreams are not clear. You will know your life is under attack when you remember your dream in joint. And finally, it's better to have bad dream than to have no dream. Stand to your feet. If it is bad dream and you remember, you can do something about it. But when you are in a state that you don't dream at all, the enemy has finished. They have almost finished you. You say, I thank God. Me, I know the dream. Ah. Now that one was past. Dream is like the spiritual monitor. But hear this. When, we, when you wake up and you forget your dream, what happened is that it's your spirit that was contacting that word. But your mind, in the process of your spirit, handing over the file of the dream to your mind and to your body, there was a disconnect. What you do in such a state is to pray for long. Some of you will discover that in the process of praying, suddenly your dream begins to come together. How many of you have seen it happen to you before? You forgot. Thank you. You, you. you just begin to remember. Let me tell you, those are the things that are asset. They are asset. If you can capture your dream, you can capture your destiny. Can you lift up your hands? If you are clapping for Jesus, let's do it better. Don't pretend about it. Can you lift up your hands to the Lord and say, Father, thank you for the word you have sent to me. To you alone be all the glory. Everybody give him all the glory. Give him all the honor. Give him all the adoration. Thank you Lord. 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 In Jesus name we pray. Lift up your two hands to him. Say my father, my father. Say my father, my God. Every prophetic dream. That I have forgotten about. Oh God. Restore me today. In the name of Jesus. Every prophetic dream. Of my wealthy place. That I have forgotten. My father. Restoration. 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 Mashatalada baria nagadosha. Elevarata. Etovareda. Lakaposhara. Eriakata. Ishada gadagadosha, eriakata, efelepetosa, mesotobelesh, lefete de gadosha, imakosidia, leketosa, jagadagadagadosha, enevarosa. In Jesus' name we pray. Number two, say in the name of Jesus, I take authority over every negative dream and I cancel it. It shall not come to pass. Every evil dream that I've ever had or people had about me, I cancel it. Go ahead and pray. I cancel it. It shall not come to pass. I cancel it. It shall not come to pass. Mashata lada barriata. Elle barriata. Ata da dosha. Arriata. Eshele gada gadosha. Ambariata. Eshala gada gada. Elle barriata. Eshegelegedosha, Emakata, Emperoto, Eshadosha, Livadiza, Uriatana, Elevedosha, Apetara, Ashediata, Arata, Ekanas, Eperoto, Eshelegadegado, Itatosa, Eshadagada, Eshadegadoshada. In Jesus' name we pray. Lift your hands to him. Say, My father, like Peter. Help me this year, this month, to put my net on the right side. Help me, Lord, to put my net on the right side in the worthy place where my breakthrough is. 
I shall not labor loss. I shall not labor in vain. I shall not toil in vain. Father, hold my hands and lead me to the right place. Lead me to the worthy place. Hold my hands. Hold my hands. Lead me to the right place. Lead me to the worthy place. Mashata la da barusa, e pariata, e neke tozoda, e shalega da gadosia, e shadosa, ariata, e shaga da gadagada, e perroto, e shalega da gadagada, e macato, verreta, e shelegadas, e dadosha. Hold my hand, Lord. 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 Lead me to the right place. Lead me to the worthy place. Father, hold my hand and lead me to the right place. Mashata la da badosa. In Jesus' name we pray. No matter say, my father, cover my nakedness. Cover my nakedness. Cover my nakedness. Say, I shall not be put to shame. Say, because you are my leader, I shall not be put to shame. I shall not be put to shame. Somebody pray that prayer. You need this prayer. You will understand. You need this prayer before the end of the week. Cover my nakedness. Cover my shame. Cover my nakedness. Cover my shame. Mashata la da barriata. El le barriata da. El riadosa da. El le barriata. E barriata. Ashala gada gadosa. El le barriata. Ashala gada gada. El le barriata. Ashala gada gada. And not that dosha is shattered up in Jesus' name. We pray finally before we apply the mantle, lift up your hands to him. Peter, Peter, henceforth, you will no longer be fisher of fishes, but fisher of men. They are both fishing, but one is higher. The Lord will make you to fulfill your destiny in a grand style. There is a reason for your creation. You are not a biological accident. You didn't happen by chance. You cannot continue to live by chance. Lift up your two hands. Lord, you are the porter of my life. The reason why you create me, let it begin to come to pass at a higher dimension. Everybody pray that prayer. I know you may not understand it. <laughs> you are the potter. You are the potter of my life. You are the potter of my life. You are my creator. The reason why you created me, where you made me. Let it begin to come to pass at a higher, greater, bigger dimension. Sir Simon, Simon, if you love me, you will serve me. If you love me, you will serve my purpose. Mashata la da barriata gadagadosha. Eller, I didn't send myself to the earth. You sent me here. I don't want to be a failure. Lord, let me fulfill my purpose. Mashata la da barriata. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I decree and declare from today, 17th day of March, you will fulfill your purpose in the grand star. He sent you to the earth for an assignment. It is inside that assignment that you have your consignment. Your provision is inside your vision. I decree and declare in the name of Jesus. If you have not discovered it, you will discover it. If you have discovered it, you will fulfill it in a grand style. You will not be average in destiny. 
every negative dream you have ever had let it be cancelled 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 it's not because of your position in the family why God chose you mm -mm. he just decided before you were conceived from your mother's womb he has decided that you will be the light bearer of the family of your clan of your state of the nation and in the world in the name of jesus i decree and declare no matter whatever age you are going to become this year or not before that time let the almighty god arise and fulfill his promise let the almighty god arise and fulfill his promise you will not fail god oh you will not fail destiny you will not fail god all eyes are on you you have a strategic position in your family in that resources that you need men and women that you need position that you need acquisition that you need and possession let the lord give it to you now in the name of jesus because you are born this your family the world they will change for better in the name of jesus thank you father blessed be the name of the lord watch out for this week you will get there they will line up and congratulate you in jesus mighty name we pray lift your hands and give him thanks for the blessing that he has poured upon your life just a moment before you bring your handkerchief out everyone that you want to say to me pastor i need god to take me to my wealthy place pastor i need to fulfill purpose i want to pray for you now while all of us are standing i want you to lift up your right hand above your head and let me pray for you i want to be saved today I want to surrender my life to Jesus. I want to become a child of the living God. Oh, I want to rededicate my heart to him. You lift up your right hand above your head and come. Let me pray for you. God bless you. Step forward to the altar. The rest of us, bring out your handkerchiefs and lift it up. I'm going to pray over you. Everyone that wants to surrender to Jesus or be born again today, wherever you are, you step forward to the altar and then I'll be ready to pray with you. People, lift up your uh, handkerchief before the law. Don't be afraid, you will not be disgraced. That is the word unto somebody. Don't be afraid. You will not be disgraced. The money will arrive before the embarrassment. The money will arrive before the embarrassment. Why you are thanking God for one? There are seven others miracle on the way. Why you are thanking God for one? There are seven other miracles on the way. Yeah. Lift up those handkerchief before the Lord. Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. We make a demand that your power, your anointing, your grace for wealthy please rest upon these materials. Yeah. And at the application, let there be various manifestations. Thank you, Father. Jesus, mighty name, we pray. Place it on yourself and begin to make demand of what you want. Those of you in the front, place your own right hand on your chest. You will pray this prayer with me as you close your eyes. Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you today to hand over my life unto you. Please forgive me all my sins. Remove my names from the book of death. Write my name in the book of life. I receive you today as my Lord. And my savior i will serve you i will follow you i will do your will thank you jesus amen i pray for you today that lord cleanse you from all unrighteousness 
establish you in salvation make all things to be well with you in jesus name we pray god bless you please this way they will bring you back people go ahead and pray you have 10 seconds more make that demand right now make that demand right now make that demand right now and make that demand right now this is going to be a supernatural week a week with a touch of difference thank you lord in jesus mighty name we pray i decree and declare embargo over your destiny is lifted step into higher dimension step into higher blessing step into higher favor in that organization in that office a bigger door open for you in the name of jesus those i and the mighty god has connected you with it is time for them to take you higher take you higher take you higher bigger opportunity bigger opportunity bigger opportunity all your journey this week will cover you with the blood of jesus let the blood prevail and pre and, and avail for your life in the name of jesus none of you will die on the journey none of you will die on the road every project in your hand shall be completed this year the lord will give you speed 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 move to the next level whatever has not been working in your hand let it work this week and this week you will arrive where it is called the worthy place where you will make unlimited resources on ending financial breakthrough in the name of jesus arrive at the overflow thank you father blessed be the name of the lord in jesus mighty name we pray say i receive it say i am breezy say it is mine say i will testify give jesus christ a clap of free it is done it is done please take your seat have i asked people to pick their letter on the altar today oh good because i knew there was a word like that but i was not sure it was really those letters have already been released so step out in faith and go and collect it physically this very week pick up your seed and target the seed of wealthy place pick up your tithe your 10 percent of the blessing of god upon your life for everything god gives you 10 percent belong to god when you practice this it makes god to release financial breakthrough in your direction this is the season to know how to walk in financial laws and it brings about breakthrough pick it up package it and if you are sending detail on the screen father in the name of jesus we declare and decree that the reign of heaven rests upon every seed that is presented in the name of jesus all the titles life will not be tight for you let alone open the windows of heaven upon your life upon your family upon your career and this week the reign of blessings shall soak you in the name of jesus thank you father jesus mighty name we pray somebody say bigger amen. amen why the ushers are coming around let's listen to this following notices good news great news joyful news next week sunday is the fourth sunday in the month of march and there is another sunday which is the last sunday on the 31st but this coming one is 12 basket of blessings people drew out their houses their accommodation their cars their children their wives all kind of things this coming sunday don't joke with it write out those things that you want from the law wealth bringer there is something that bring wealth it's not sweat it's not toiling it's not your work yes we will work we we work of course you you can't be around people like us and not work you can't be indolent no that's no way but it is the blessing of god that bring it 
wealth bringer. No more painful toiling. Can I hear your amen? Bring your friend, bring everyone. Make sure you don't come to church alone. Do this. Jesus told Peter, do you love me? If you love me, bring people to me. Feed my sheep. So, make sure you practice this as you come next week. March um, Discovery and Recovery Conference is coming up on Sunday 25th to on Monday 25th to Sunday 31st. If you are clapping for Jesus, you can clap better. It's also the time of Easter. It's going to be an exciting time. 6 a.m., 5.30 in the evening. On the Saturday of it, Power Touch Night, 9.30 p.m. It's going to be a wonderful time in God's presence. Kneel down, my glory must speak. Your glory will speak. What do you want for this conference? Write it out. Your expectation. Tomorrow, Power Touch. Do everything that you don't miss it. Come and encounter the power of God in a powerful way like we have never seen before. Uh, from tomorrow... Uh, we are going to run on the series. My manifestation has come. Some of us, our notebook are full of the promises of God. Just like our brother testified, uh, he's into estate and that transaction will have just gone away like that. But she received prophetic word and it manifested. Your own will manifest in the name of Jesus. Don't miss prayer conference tonight by 12 midnight. And uh, victory is mine. Victory is mine is my god is giving somebody a victory on wednesday it shall be a special power touch as that day is the senior pastor's birthday and god will be giving special birthday uh blessing to people on that wednesday thursday at 5 30 we are breaking financial hardship again part three of it an operation daily addition continue as you bring your friends and everyone that concerns you to church the lord bless you and do you good in jesus name Today is your first time in the church. We want to pray for you, pray with you, pray over you, and declare over you. You can stand to your feet and let's pray with you today. This is your first time in the church. Please stand to your feet, pick up your bag, your Bible, and everything you brought to church, and come. Let us pray for you. I begin to pray for everyone. Today, the Lord will go with you. This week, the Lord will go with you. In the name of Jesus. From your children far and near, you will hear good news. You will hear great news. You will hear joyful news. Every pain in your body, let it disappear. Every arrow of infirmity, let it be pulled out and be thrown out. In the name of Jesus, go in grace, go in blessing, go in increase, go in abundance. In the name of Jesus, let things begin to work for you. Let things begin to work with you. Let things begin to work around you. Everything that has not been working shall begin to work now. In the name of Jesus. I decree and declare wherever they have promised you, there shall be performance this week. No more disappointment. No more regret. No more affliction. In the name of Jesus. This week, among the testifier, your name will top, top the list. Your name will top the list. Your name will top the list. Your name will top the list. In the name of Jesus. As you face your front and focus your ans your, on your assignment, you will shine brighter than your colleagues. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Jesus' mighty name we pray. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever amen 2024 my year of new era my year of new dawn my year of higher dimensions these are my portions amen hallelujah turn to 12 people the lord has done it for me tell them those of you in the front you are welcome and i'm happy to see you this is god city international church the lord bless you and make his face to shine upon you I'm happy to welcome you to church today. Today, this place is a place of deliverance. It's a place of rescue. It's a place of restoration. It's a place of mobile fire. Your life will never be the same again. In the name of Jesus. I'd like you to settle down in this church. And during the week, or latest by Saturday, I'll be meeting with all of you in person. They will organize and tell you about that. And we'll be able to discuss and pray for you. Stretch forth your hands in the meantime. I decree and declare in the name of jesus christ let the law
the almighty God himself show you his grace. Every area of disgrace in your life, let it expire. Let our Lord increase you in leaves and in bound. Let our Lord prosper you. Let our Lord do you good. In the name of Jesus. By the time I see you next, you shall be better off. The problem you left at home, you will meet it as testimony. The one you brought to church has become testimony. The Lord give you testimony today. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you. You are welcome. Can you please take your seat right here? God bless you.